Hello Aaron, my name is Tobias and I live in Sweden. Uh, I was hoping you could help me a bit with my heel flips today. And uh, this is some of the tricks that I already know. Uh, here's the ollie. And the front side 180. Uh, next we have the back side 180. I never could do uh, those high enough. <laughs> it's kind of awkward for me. And uh, yeah, the pop shove it. I did two of those, I believe. Yeah. And uh, for the front side pop shove it, I find it really awkward while riding regular. It's very hard to get the spin down and the pop. Uh, however, I can do them while <laughs> I almost fell there. I can do them while standing still, no problem, like this. It's no problem at all. And uh, also, I can do them while riding fakie, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But I find them very easy riding fakie. And uh, now for the heel flip, this is my foot positioning, uh, where I feel most comfortable. And uh, here you can watch some of my attempts. As you can see, my biggest problem is landing uh, in front of the nose with one of the one of my legs. It's not the flick that's the problem. I don't believe I. It's just me landing one foot above the nose every time. And I also, di I also did uh, some other attempts here from... Oh, I actually landed that one, but it was kind of sketchy. Here you can see it from uh, a couple different angles. It might be easier to point out what's wrong. Yeah, so that's it, and uh, I hope you can help me with uh, my heel flips, and uh, thanks a lot, your channel rocks. See ya! Awesome, so thanks a lot for your support and all the work you put into this video. Cool, so I'm really glad you showed me all of those steps. You are extremely close to doing the heel flip, and I'm sure it is because you did master all of those previous steps. So yeah, your previous tricks look great. Cool, so like you said, your front foot is going too far in front of the board. So I'm going to show you a little something here. This might get a little complex, so stick with me. There's a few ways that you can pop the board. You can pop it with your weight just perfectly centered where you pop it straight down, and in that way you will stay a little bit above the board. As you can see here, if your weight is a little bit more in front, and as you push your back foot down, it's going to pop it a little that way, which is what you're doing, and it's why you're sending your board a little bit back, and your body and your front foot goes in front of the board. So what you need to change it to is more of a direction like this. So you want to be a little bit more in the back seat, so that way, as your force pushes down, it'll pop your board in front of you more. So don't think like that you should jump where your board goes. No, control your board to make your board go in the direction you want it to go. So send your board under you. Don't try and jump on top of your board. I hope that makes sense. Like I said, it got a little complex there. So yeah, just make sure that when you do the heel flip, you're leaning a bit back on your back foot and your weight is more not perfectly centered straight up and down but just a little bit to the back and you can practice doing that by just stepping off back with your back foot and shooting the board out in front of you like sometimes on these practice steps like when you just throw the board out in front of you and your back foot just comes onto the ground but your front foot waits there to just land on the board you can practice that way but again just kind of have your concentration with your weight in the back seat a little bit. Cool, so I think that that's basically all you need to do other than practice, 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 practice on those heel flips. 
Um, even in the video, you landed one, so you really do got it. Just every day when you got to skate, just run through this whole lineup, which I'm sure is what you're doing, because yeah, your previous tricks were down really well. So just go out to skate, warm up a little bit, do a few stretches, and then do the ollie, front side 180, back side 180, pop shove, front shove, and heel flip. And yeah, again, you have that front side shove it as well. You should put in some more practice on that just so you have it down well while you're riding. And honestly, I, you can do it well standing still so good. So you should just put in practice, and that's really all you need to do to get that front side shove it down. It's just gaining confidence with popping that board and keeping your front foot on and being able to really keep it centered. Cool, so I hope that diagram helped and I hope that made sense in terms of like shooting your board where you want it to go rather than trying to just be let your board control where your body goes. You want to send your board in the direction you want it to go and that's board control. Being able to put the board where you want so your feet can just be right there and land on it. Cool, so for any of you guys mastering the basics of skateboarding, don't wait. Get Skateboarding Made Simple. Do every single one of the steps. It will help you, it's incredible. It's a digital download, so it's available in any country of the world. So yeah, check it out, it's really awesome. I put a ton of work into it. So I really appreciate all of your guys' help and support, and keep the skate supports coming.